listeners. Over the last couple of weeks, I've been on an absolute roller coaster of emotions when it comes to Adobe Portfolio. So if you've been following me now for a while, you know that I love to talk about portfolios. I do portfolio reviews with other graphic designers and creatives. And it's just something that I truly believe in is one of the most important things for a designer or creative. And anytime I create any sort of video about a portfolio, I get loads of questions about Adobe Portfolio. And for good reason. It's quote unquote free because it comes with an Adobe subscription and our overlord Adobe is everywhere. So everyone knows about it. And personally, I was never a big fan of Adobe Portfolio, but after the last couple of weeks of messing around with it and actually making a portfolio website using it myself, it's okay. And it's hard to not see it as a valuable tool. And because the goal of my TikTok account is to help you create a better portfolio website, as well as the onslaught of questions that I get about Adobe Portfolio, I decided to put something together for you. So about two weeks ago, I spent all weekend just messing around with Adobe Portfolio, recorded some lessons, and they're all available for free at the link in my bio. I'm calling it a mini course, call it whatever you want, but basically I'm just tired of all the questions I get about Adobe Portfolio because I think it's a good tool and I think it's actually valuable for designers and I want to see designers make usable portfolio websites with it. And so in the four video lessons that I put together, it's going to teach you all the ins and outs of like the interface, which is actually pretty complicated, how to create an engaging layout for your case studies of your projects, how to edit textiles, add forms. I tried to cover a bunch of stuff in this. And again, it's all free because I want you to make an amazing portfolio so that you can go make some cool shit and get paid. If you want to sign up, all you have to do is just go to the link in my bio and it'll be at the top. If you have any other questions about Adobe Portfolio, let me know in the comments. And if you want more tips on design, make sure you like this video and follow me. Have a great day.